The amount of section loss of a metallic substrate is a significant factor in determining whether a coating system should be repaired or replaced, or more importantly, whether repairs to the substrate itself are required. Section loss of a structural member, pipe wall, or other critical support due to corrosion can have catastrophic consequences if undetected. Measuring the wall thickness is a key element in assessing the structural integrity of steel tanks and piping. Depending on the configuration of the piece, it may be possible to take measurements with calipers or micrometer, although it's more likely that the measurements have to be taken with a pit depth gauge or ultrasonic wall thickness gauge. Pit depth gauges are used to measure pit depth from one side. The results are compared to the original thickness of the steel to determine if sufficient thickness remains. If section loss is not in the form of pitting though, or it may be occurring on the opposite side of the wall, ultrasonic wall thickness measurements are required. Typically a coupling is applied to the steel substrate to carry the ultrasound signal. The gauge may need to be set up to measure the type of the metal substrate of interest, for example, cast iron, steel, aluminum, or stainless. And it should be verified for accuracy prior to each use using traceable gauge blocks of a known thickness. Ultrasonic wall thickness gauges measure the total thickness of a metal substrate from one side. Some gauges exclude the thickness of the coating, while others may include the thickness of the coating and the substrate combined. In these cases, the thickness of the coating must be measured separately and then subtracted from the wall thickness. Typically, the gauges display the wall thickness in inches or millimeters. The displayed values can be compared to the original wall thickness based on drawings or other records, and the percentage of the remaining wall thickness can be reported. There is no known ASTM standard governing the use of wall thickness gauges or the frequency of measurements. And that's all there is to it. If you want to find out more information on measuring thicknesses or other subjects, log on to ktauniversity.com.